So first of all, we're going to be taking a look at these first three columns, right? For naming the objectives and key results and deciding whether it's each one is a um, lead or lag metric. So for the objectives, I'm not going to name them properly just yet. So remember that this is iterative. So I'm going to go with North Star followed by each of the DevRel sub-functions. So DevRel is a function in an organization um, that is executed by the DevRel team, the DevRel people, but um, it does have sub-functions or special uh, specializations within DevRel. So let's name them, right? So Dev Core Components, um, Dev Marketing, Um, what else do we have? Dev uh, education and dev success. Um, and we could also go further. We could have another section for dev community um, and other things. It depends on how you have structured your team, right? So this is this is a hypothetical anyway. So. For each objective, we'll want some key results, right? Um, and a good rule of thumb is to have between two and five, three is ideal for uh, key results. But since it's a hypothetical, I'm just gonna go for two for each one of them to keep it simple. All right, so we're done with this section. I'll just briefly describe what I've done um, to, to do a recap. So um, with the North Star, you've only got lag metrics. Lag metrics basically are um, metrics that you can't really effect a change on, at least by working on them directly, but rather they are a metric which involves measuring the impact um, of other actions, so hence lag. Lead metrics, on the other hand, are things that you actively do. So these are units of work that you do with the intent that they will in some way impact lag metrics. So the definition North Star uh, metrics um, are should be lag metrics. And you know this is like the overarching, happen to be the overarching goals of your DevRel function. Whereas with each of the areas in DevRel, or sub-functions uh, within DevRel, I should say, um, that can be a combination of both lead and lag metrics. And that's up to you to decide. Um, now, I'll talk a bit about what I'm thinking about here. So these two metrics, the North Star, is essentially, um, I want more developers, and I want those developers to be doing more developer activity on the on the on the network right so for example this will be the uh the number of accounts and this will be the number of transactions but not all transactions for example you don't want a transfer transaction to be included here but you do want a smart contract de deployment transaction here um this one is a bit tr these are both tricky because um on pseudonymous networks where you don't necessarily have a user account sign up and give their email address and name, etc. Right? You don't know um, which individual does what, right? Because it's pseudonymous and someone can spin up as many accounts as they want. However, you can create proxy metrics that approximate this value. And so long as your uh, technique is uh, consistent, then you will get a uh, result. But it's important to identify them as proxy metrics. Now, for each of the areas, right, um, these are specific to those areas and I won't go directly, uh, I won't explain what those are necessarily, that's not the objective of this video, but um, we, can, uh, we, can take a, we can take a look at some relationships that we have between them. So for example, right, this is a lead metric, which basically means put more uh, emails out there by sending them, um, or put more ads out there by increasing your ad spend um, and get them, you know, get them in, uh, like as many impressions as, as you as you can. 
right? Or increase the number of impressions. The second one, which is something that you don't have direct control over as a lag metric, it depends on this one, previous one, the lead metric as a prerequisite. And that's actually a common pattern between lag and lead metrics. And it also have uh, it also has some uh, something that you can do to influence it as well. Like you can improve the uh, click through rate, etc. Right by 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 some action. So we'll take a look at that later. Now with dev education, I have gone with uh, four instead of two, um, and that's because I think that dev education has a. Um, a DevRel function should spend the majority of its time on dev education um, as opposed to the other functions. Like this is the most important thing to get right. So there's two lead metrics and two lag metrics and effectively these two um, actions, these two lead metrics, uh, action, taking action on them should result in uh, a positive impact on these two lag metrics as well as, you know, in general in the North Star um, as well. Finally, we have dev success, and we here we increase the number of bounties that are available, etc. Typo, and decrease the number of friction points. So these are both lead metrics, and we'll come back to those later.